Alright guys, so today I'm gonna discuss about how you can make money using this free SEO tool, crawler tool, which is called Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog has been used by a lot of SEO, including me. So I make money using Screaming Frog by doing audits. I can literally make 200 to 400 bucks per run or per Screaming Frog picks. So what I will uh, discuss with you in this video is how you can use this tool, how you can leverage this tool to earn money first, and how you can offer this service to any business owners. Um, if you are a freelancer, you can offer this to your client. So your client will be impressed by your skill. And if you are a business owner, you definitely need this. It's because you don't know the problem of your website. So this will at least you will have an idea about what's going on with your website. Is it missing? On uh, is it missing? Has it? Uh, does it have a lot of missing meta descriptions? Uh, are the page titles okay? So it's something like that. All right. So this is a this is just, this is just an example website that we will run. Goberts pumpkinpatch.com and what you will do is just to download streaming frog so if you type in google streaming frog free download so you could just click on here this tool is free for the first 500 urls that you will check all right so if it's more than uh, 500 URLs, uh, you have to pay money, all right? So a SEO Spider tool, download. So since I already I have already downloaded this, so I'm actually good at, good on my end. So this is their website. You could just visit it and download the. Uh, file here and the program here so let's go back to the tool so i'm just gonna start on uh, uh, crawling so this tool will crawl the website so as you can see it crawls the home page first so if they have meta descriptions it definitely will check it will check um, their initial seo i mean on page status something like that so first up you will see it here uh, all pages so screaming frog definitely will crawl even the images right even the uh, js or something but you will definitely look at the html only so their website is just, they only have like 60 uh, HTML, I mean, 60 pages. So these are the pages here. So when you click on this one, it will be redirected here so you can see it. And as we are currently seeing it, their URLs are not really friendly. Some of them actually were not really friendly. And it looks like they don't have enough blog posts yet. So usually if they have blog posts, you can definitely see this one, blog slash title of the blog post. And it seems like they don't have it, all right? So absolutely, they, they're not really active on their blog posts, all right? So these are their JavaScript their CSS and what what we are what we are actually after is for 404 errors so this one so this needs to be fixed 
So you can offer this to your client. Redirection is okay, but you will have to recheck it. So if it's done correctly or not. 5404, we will definitely recommend to, I definitely re recommend to fix this as soon as possible, as soon as you can. So meaning 404 is you can't visit, visit the website, of course. It's an error. It's an error. So this one, all right? And this one, this is actually a, an external link. I mean, outbound link from the website. All right, so this one, this is a 404 error. And uh, Google hates this. Right, so if the if the Google, if the V crawler or Google crawler has crawled this website, that's definitely a problem. It's because you will be flagged. Not really a death penalty for your website, of course, but they hate this, so you definitely have to fix this. So on the referring page, you will see it here by just clicking it here. The referring page is. Let's see. It's here. No. Um, in links. So yes, this is the referring page. So it looks like the hyperlink is anchor text is this one. So when I click on this home page, so it looks like they deployed it on their number. So it looks like it's above or maybe at the footer. Let us manually check it. So this one, this one, All right? So you can see it here when I hover, when I hover it, All right? So this one. So you just need to link it something like hyperlink it something like L and then type in the number. So we'll, so the owner should. Uh, change this All right so when I click on this one this is a 404 error right so this needs to be fixed so let's proceed and in this one as well when I go to in links the referring URL is round apple picking so it looks like the website owner should need to remove this completely. Actually, there's an HTTP version, and this one is HTTPS, all right? So the, the website has two versions, HTTP and HTTPS. So when we say this one, of course, this works. No, it's been re redirected, but they still have this. They still have this HTTP version. Let us bypass. Let's try to bypass it. Right, it looks like it can't be bypassed anymore. Yes, Spring Proud has scrolled this. So you definitely need to update the sitemap for this website. So for this one, the referring page is this one. So when I visit this, and the hyperlink is Happy Jack, Happy Jack Hustle. So when I type in Happy, this one, the discussing the issue. So it, you might probably just remove this, right? So since this website is not working anymore, this needs to be removed, right? Looks like it's Power by Wix. <laughs> so, so yes, so I have explained you how to fix this. So we're all good with 404. Usually these 5xx errors, uh, yes, the website has no 5xx errors. So this is usually a server problem. So sometimes the server is loaded and the server load is, I mean, the server loading is very slow, thus causing this issue. So pretty much the website is up to par with 5xx errors. Uh, they don't have 
this kind of problem that's just yet right so this one i wouldn't mind this one so page titles so it looks like they all have sorted out their page titles and it looks like page titles needs to be revamped that's what i have seen it's because con uh, click through rate is affected by page title and meta descriptions so when we go to meta descriptions this one there are two missing meta descriptions and it's power by wordpress so we will definitely have to i think uh yeah oh, maybe we can update this it's because uh, well this might probably cause duplicate in the future since it's under the categorized i mean the uncategorized category meaning if i put in the description it will reflect on all of the uncategorized actually this is only one uncate uncategorized so um i mean for just for me i wouldn't mind this but would be very helpful as well but if i were you i would just you know block this on the index since i need to um i would definitely recommend that you categorize your links correctly especially your pages correctly this one gallery so you could just visit this and then edit it's possible but usually the possibility of editing on a very easy manner should be on posts and pages all right so it's not a very big big issue if you're not able to update this well you could just you know block this on index and you're good to go right especially the tags you wouldn't you you don't want those tags url i mean url tag i mean that that slash tag on the url to be indexed by google unless those tags are um keyword uh keyword power something like that there's a keyword in there so that's actually good to go and yeah so if there are missing i'll definitely once again especially if it's a lot i'll definitely fix it so this one i would need to fix it's because it's only at, at least 160 characters on google search results so this is 155 so this is what i mean if i visit this one let's see i visit this one and all right so this one and it looks like um you all right so this is actually okay but um uh, screaming frag only is recommending at least 155 characters that's because some of the users are using mobile and mobile results on excerpt when it comes to meta descriptions are pretty much different right so this might not fit on the mobile phone so since i'm using a computer this has fit and the meta descriptions have fit in here all right so well yes that's pretty much an overview and meta keyword is missing you might probably want to include meta keywords on each of the pages of course so it's usually you can usually have it sorted out at the header side right and it's not really necessary to place h1 h2 something like that but it's definitely helpful of course of course so what i would offer to my clients uh, is that i'll definitely fix these images especially the alt text i mean missing alt attributes and the missing alt text for images if it's over 100 kb uh, if your server is fast or if your host if posting is fast this is usually not a problem but 
it's recommended that your image is only 100 KB. So it will load fast when a visitors, when some visitors will visit your website. So missing alt text, I'll definitely, I'll definitely once again, fix it. Canonicals, canonical self-referencing, missing canonical. So, well, yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind this for now specifically for this client and that's pretty much it i usually just recommend the meta description fix and even structured data so missing it looks like the website doesn't have any structured data so that's very important this is how i make money actually i usually offer 200 to 400 bucks just to fix uh main client issues especially the descriptions the meta tags that's very important so that's actually, that's actually pretty much it. As I said, you don't need to go all over over this. It's because it's, the, it's just this is just too tedious, and not only that, this will take you time. Unless this is your website, if you're very very serious when it comes to this website for I mean for your website or for the client's website, if you're very very serious, you can definitely address this all. But over optimization is actually bad as well when it comes to SEO, all right? So well, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can use this to check the page if it's missing on something, if a website is missing or is missing on something. So you can use the, you can use this free tool. I've been using the free version. So that's so that's what I've been using all the time. So yes, um, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'm gonna see you on my next video. And so I'm going to be inspired to go over all these again. But pretty much it, I have discussed what you definitely need as a business owner or as a freelancer. I have uh, told you a while ago what to sort out first, the very really important stuff, and the other ones that you may ignore, at least for now. All right, so thank you for watching and see you in my next video.